What's going on YouTube? Three Sons RC come back at you with another bench video. Now, today we're gonna be drywalling and shoe gooing the X Max, right? So why am I doing another video? I already have the self-proclaimed Pest Shoe Goo RC body video on the internet, and that's a great one. Go check that out. Um, but there are specific things about the X Max that I'm gonna go over mostly when it comes to the rear end and fortifying that that I did that's specific to this body and I'm gonna show you guys in the Traxxas community what I use to shoe glue my body Most of the videos that show you how to drywall tape and shoe glue your body, it's like a live stream and it takes a long time and they don't always get as close and show you specific how to actually do it and give you specific techniques. And I'm gonna go over that real quick for you guys. Talk about how to shoe glue and how to drywall tape your RC body. This works on any RC body, but specifically the X-Max. What do you need? Why you do it, right? So I'm a big fan of shoe gluing your body and a lot of people out there love the stock look of the trucks. They wanna keep these decals. They wanna keep that nice looking truck out there while they're bashing. Yes, I'm a big fan of Unbreakable Bodies. I got a bunch of TMT bodies out here, but I also understand that some of y'all out there like the stock look. So how can we make this comparable at least to an Unbreakable Body and keeping that look so super durable, but yet also keeps the look of the truck? So we need a couple things. We need some isopropyl alcohol and some paper towels. We need the drywall tape. I use this Fibba tape, and you can get this at Home Depot or a lot of different places. But the Fibba tape, I've heard, sticks a lot better. And yeah, this sticks for me, so I use the Fibba tape. You obviously need, for an X-Max type body, you need probably about two tubes, maybe three if you're going really crazy and super durable on there, but you can probably get away with two tubes or even one and a half. You also need a glue gun. I say set it on the lowest setting if it has that. You also need a couple glue sticks and you need a latex glove. And guys, you wanna make sure to do this not in a confined space. I'm, lo I'm in my garage, but obviously when I do it, I'm gonna open my garage door up and I'm gonna do it super ventilated because man, this stuff is super aggressively smelling. So make sure we don't want anybody kind of passing out or getting sick because of this stuff. So make sure you're properly ventilated. Let me show you specifically how I fortified, especially the rear end of this Traxxas X-Max and how you guys can fortify your bodies and keep that stock look. So like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate y'all. Three Sons RC. Let's do this, baby. Yay! Okay, so first thing is just strip all this plastic out of the vehicle. You want a completely clean, completely blank slate. Then what you're gonna do is grab the isopropyl alcohol, paper towel, wipe all this truck down, remove all the debris. You don't want any type of sticky stuff from your fingers or any type of extra lint or stuff like that. You want a nice clean surface so everything sticks perfectly. Then what you're gonna do is grab the Fibba tape, lay out a couple pieces on the bench or someplace where you have access to it. Make them about the length of the width of the body. And you wanna just lay out a couple, like maybe like three or four pieces on the bench. And then a couple smaller pieces just to kind of fill in the gaps. Obviously you have your scissors ready, right? And what you're gonna do is start with the first piece of tape. Basically lay out one piece of tape, push it down into the crevices as best you can, make it nice and flat, make sure it's sticking as best as you can. And before it rises up, because it'll try to rise up, grab this guy right here on a low setting, push it down into the cracks, kind of a nice steady pace. You don't wanna stay in one spot for too long because you'll burn the body and the paint will get all messed up. And you just kind of just tap it here and there. Go into the cracks and just kind of scribble all over it, that piece of tape, and in the corners, kind of around the edges of that piece of tape, go, I like to do one piece of tape, then glue it, one piece of tape, then glue it. Some guys, and I've done this before, where I've laid out like four or five pieces, right? And then just done the whole section. That works too, however you want to do it, right? Lay out the piece of tape, hit it up, that holds it in place with the glue. Then what you're gonna do is after you've done a section of the body, is you grab this glue, have your glove on, of course, grab a glob of it, and just start pushing it into the body, into the panels, into the corners, and pay special attention to like the wheel wells and the edging. Make sure you get it right up into the edge, guys. And just basically work from front to back, right? Let it dry. If you wanna do another set, do a whole nother layer, maybe after like, like an hour or two, let it dry really good. You What about the X-Max body that's different? What did I pay attention to? So look at the X-Max body. You can see that there's supports through the whole entire body, all the way to the back, and then you have this bumper back here. But look, there's a gap right here. An issue with the X-Max body is that when you land on your tail, you land on the bumper, or you hit the back of the body, this area right here, because there's no support in this area, just crumples. And it just, you've seen them, it's happened to you if you have an X-Max, it'll crumple and get all bent up. So because there's support from the front to the back, but yet there's a gap right here, it's gonna go to the weak zone, and it's gonna bend right there. So what I did is I dremeled down three pieces, obviously two narrow and one wide, two, three pieces of an old T-Bones bumper. I laid fresh Fibba tape down with the shoe goo, then I laid down this piece of T-Bones bumper, and then I laid some more of the Fibba tape and the shoe glue up top and did a whole layer, and that just locks it right in. It, this is just not going anywhere, guys. And if you try to bend this body, it is not gonna bend there. It's almost like a, an extended sheet in the body. Now, in the back here, with the shoe glue and drywall, I did two, maybe three layers in the corners, here, here, across the back, in the wheel wells up here, and in the front, I did about two layers, right? And I laid it in nice and thick. And the rest of the body, I kinda just did one nice layer 
do the whole thing. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind is that you don't want to go too thick right where these body mounts are. In fact, I didn't really do any around this area because you need to get those screws back in. So pay attention to these four spots up here. You want to pay attention to these four spots right here and right in here. Don't put too much down in that well or else you won't be able to remount that support brace right there.
If you want, you could also put a cup, like maybe a second layer through the kind of hood because this is supported, but it wouldn't hurt to have a little extra support so that the dome doesn't cave in. So you support your body really well. I've just done two thick layers through there and you can kind of glob it in there, but you want to make sure that you have the tape as close to the body first and, and then glue gun it down so it stays nice and flat. And then you'll be able to roll that shoe glue right over top and it'll push right into those cracks and those little crevices. And this technique, guys, really becomes one with the body. There's a lot of other techniques, some spray on stuff that guys use out there. And to mix results, some of them work really well, some of them don't work as well. This solution, guys, because it's, it's more of a, a glue, it really becomes one with the Fibba tape. The tape connects and makes strength with the body and it becomes one. Not as good as an unbreakable body, but about as close as you can get with that stock look, guys. So hey, hope you guys appreciate it. Just a quick video. This is what I've done to my Xbox body, guys. And I think that this is gonna hold up really well. Obviously, got this guy when I'm gonna go really crazy. But when you're not gonna go stupid crazy, maybe you're going on grass, you're just going for some speed runs, you want the body to look nice, this is a great option for you. Guys, when you're running the glue gun over the body, like I said, don't stay in one spot for too long because this gets hot enough on the tip that it will melt your paint and actually melt the Lexan of your body. The other thing you don't want to do is you don't want to take like a big glob of this hot glue and put it down in the corner and try to fill it up. Use the shoe goo for that, but don't do, do it with this guy because it will literally burn that corner and actually melt your body. So just make sure you're keeping on moving with this and just kind of almost like a tack welder, just kind of scribble on there. That This is just a placeholder until you get there with the shoe goo. Don't, don't try to glue it like crazy with the glue gun. You want to use the shoe goo for that.